So I feel like he's looking better, but he just doesn't know us. He doesn't know what we want from him. He doesn't know what we expect. Okay, so we're working on a couple issues with Finn. Basically, he's being perfect right now because our instructor is in the room and... Sophia's a lot calmer. Everybody's calmer with Fiona here. It's just how... You know the reason behind that, right? Because you give us confidence. What a good pony. Now breathe out, lean back, and walk. Walk. Yeah, don't stop. Keep walking. Yeah, so that's what he does. See that thing he just did a minute ago where he like was kind of conforming to her body? So he's doing that because she stopped moving her body and he had to abruptly stop and he couldn't do that. Okay. So if she so do that again, run. But he actually does that when we're like trying to do that with him. Okay, so you know why he's not too bad? At, well, he's He's still kind of on top of her a little. Maybe because she's holding okay, too tight. Okay, Sophie, I want you to keep running, but I want you to let go of your right hand. And you're going to get him. Hang on a second. You're going to, this is Finn, and I'm you. You're going to get him running, and you're going to let go of that leader up, and you're going to put your hand up like this and keep running. Straight up in the air. So start trotting. Man, he's pretty. Let go and put your hand up. Yeah. That a girl. That's better. We got a little more space. Click, click, click. So essentially outside, I'll oh see. Okay, so get him up beside you. He's behind you, you're dragging him. And you don't move away, he needs to move away from you. All right, go the other way so he's on the inside of the circle because I think that's challenging for you. You're having to run. She's probably tired already. She's like, I'm never doing a kind of lesson like this again. So get him going and then lift your hand up. I want a lesson like this. That's it. If he gets on top of you, wave your hand a little bit. Not out of his face, just back and forth. Pull him forward again. Usually rope. Hand up. There you go. And now walk. Well done. He needs to learn your boundaries. How big is your bubble? How big is your bubble? Not with him. Chicken wings? Get your bubble. You go where you want to go and use your bubble. That's right. He's not allowed to get in your bubble. Atta girl. Remember our horsemanship classes? Yeah. That bubble is very important. Anytime you feel like he's on you, put your chicken wings up and walk with a stutter. Yes. Atta girl. Don't be afraid to flap your wings. Keep him out of your space. Anytime, you get him out. That's it. Yeah, he's being a 500% better. <laughs> I'm laying down at the compartment. Oh no, I see you. So come on, Lidro. And this time, before you ask him to stop, I want you to pretend to him. You're going to tip your shoulders back and breathe out and then stop. Way better. And now just stay where you are. Swing your rope across in front of you and then move chest and back touch. Just like that. One more time. He's confused. Keep doing it. Click, click, click. There you go. Get that foot to move. Stay on until that foot moves. Good job. Good boy. Atta girl. Don't let him stop over here. Jeez, the wheel. Girl. I, wish I want horse... you to keep his feet moving. I wish my horse drove would go that fast. So we're going to talk through this, okay? He's going to follow a couple of steps before he connects with you here. We're going to push him a little bit, get his feet working, get his feet moving. You're going to watch for him to give you a few signs. The first sign you're going to look for is that his ear closest to you is going to stay on you. Can you see how it's turning towards you? I'm not leaving. Girl, so you want to keep him going, his ear is going to stay on you, and his other ear is going to travel around the arena. Because he's a flight animal. Horses always have to be aware of their surroundings. So he's going to pay attention to you, but he's also going to be keeping an eye on everything else. That's it. Keep him working. Next thing you're going to notice that he'll do is he'll start to make his circle smaller towards you. 
Now this ring's already quite small, so he's not going to be able to get super tight to you, but he is going to try. I wish my horse would go that fast. Oh, Keep him going. So in a second, we're going to change direction with him. What I want you to do is walk towards that wall and change hands. Turn around. Cut him off. Send him the other way. Perfect. Good job. Make his feet move. Push him. Don't let him change direction. <laughs> Cut him off on the other wall. Cut him off. Running, cut him off. Oh, use your whip. Get in front of him. That a girl. Send him. That a girl. Get through the wall. Get there you go. Horses always have a good way and a bad way. So this way you're going to have to keep after them. Especially tossed up. We are a distraction. There you go. Easy, 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 easy. Pressure. Push, push, push. Good girl. Let him go easy. Ah, look at smaller circle. Buddy, you need to use more of this corner. Or else you'll die running into the wall. Pressure. Ah, yes, good job, so. You want to stay behind his bum, not in front of his shoulders. If you get in front of his shoulders, he's going to try and turn around. That's a girl. Ah, he's starting to have a few more brain cells, I think. He's not tossing his head and having a freak show. He's trotting like a normal horse now. That's right. You're going to keep pushing him. So the next thing you're going to see is he's going to start to lick and chew. So you're watching his lips to see his tongue coming out. Only when you're balling. Oh no. I don't even care to die. I see you in the wild. Cause this time I will choose you. Yeah. Later. Is that small or small? That's right. Is his ear still on you? Can you see his inside ear pointed right to you? Ah, that's what you want. Even if he wants to come see you, you still want to push him because he has yet to complete the cycle. You want to see him lick and chew? And then he's going to put his head down towards the ground and relax. Many months later. Dude, just give in. Yeah, too stubborn, he's holding. Ah, cut him off. Send him back. You didn't ask him to turn around. Not a girl. He's like, I will never give oh, in. What do you see? Oh, yeah. All right, keep going. Till he drops his head. It's gonna be more challenging for you because there's like eight of us in the ring. I don't want to see the shaking Oh no Like I'm sudden but I'm steady Oh no And they tell me to move on Cause I deserve more But still I want to choose you Yeah Yeah I'll choose You know exactly how to look like That's fine, you can move if you want to He's looking at me. I feel bad for him. <laughs> he knows that. He knows who the sucker is. Not a girl. Ah, so you didn't move that time when he jumped. Just drop your head, dude. Just give in to it. Just, just do it. I want him to want to be a willing partner with you. Right now, he still wants to be the boss. We're looking for him to become second in line here so that he knows that you're the alpha and you're going to take care of him. The alpha in the herd always looks after the rest. He needs to know that you're going to do that, so that's what we're trying to ask of him today. One eternity later. This is the hardest part. 
So as you're going around, I want you to be looking at his bum instead of his head. You can still see his head in your peripheral vision, right? Yeah. So you're going to stare at his bum now. Because as um, if you were a herd member and you were to stare him in the eye, he would know to stay outside of that circle. He's not welcome back into the herd until the alpha allows him to come back in. That's right. Keep moving. So if you look at his bum, then he's not afraid of you. That's right. You're allowing him to come back in, but he has to be comfortable with that. He has to be ready and willing to be with you as a partner. The tricky part is when you turn around, you're going to turn around like you're facing his bum in a way, not like you're facing his head in a way. Does that make sense? Yes. As long as he stays walking, that's fine. The head is going down. Two thousand years later. It's going down. Hey, drop your whip and turn away from him. Now, you're just going to wait. Nobody move. Give him a minute. And see if he comes to you. He's coming, Sophie. He's coming. <laughs> He's coming. Is that close enough? Yes. Yeah. He knows it's not yet either. He should come up and snuffle her. Good girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hard to have patience, isn't it? <laughs> Especially when you just want to turn your body around and hug them. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.